If you are using QuickBooks to manage your stock, then you can order new stock whenever you are running low. Let's go over how to order and account for new stock using a purchase order. Then we'll go over what to do when you receive your new stock. Finally, you'll see how to make adjustments to your stock if QuickBooks thinks you have more or less than you really do. If you haven't already created stock products in QuickBooks, you'll need to do that first, and this video can show you how. To start, let's make sure you have purchase orders set up in QuickBooks. Select Settings, then Account and Settings. Select the Expenses tab. If the Purchase Orders feature is not set up, select Edit and turn on Use Purchase Orders. You can also add custom fields, turn on custom transaction numbers, or create a default message for all purchase orders. When you are ready, select Save, and then Done. Now, let's get started. Go to Sales, then Products and Services. Here you can see which products are low in stock or out of stock. If you see a product you need to reorder, select the product, and then, under Batch Actions, select Reorder to open a purchase order. If you want to include multiple stock items on the same purchase order, you can select them all. In the Purchase Order, select the supplier you want to order from. If you've set up a preferred supplier for your product, you'll see one selected already, but you can change it if you need to. The shipping address is your address, but if you do drop shipping and you want your order delivered directly to a customer's address, you can select the customer under Ship To. Fill in Ship Via if there is a specific carrier you want your supplier to use. Under Item Details, enter all the items you want to order. Enter the quantity you want to order. Notice that if you hover over this, QuickBooks will show you how much you have on hand and your reorder point. You can adjust the rates and amounts for individual products as needed. You can also add more products to the purchase order. Just select them from the drop-down menu or add them if you don't see them. You can also add a message to your supplier, a memo, or add attachments. Once you're done, you can save and send the purchase order to your supplier or select another save option and send it later. Here is a customizable email that QuickBooks will send to your supplier along with the purchase order. If everything looks good, select Send and Close. If you go to Expenses and Suppliers, you can see your new purchase order listed here. Once you've sent it, your supplier can start processing your order. A purchase order itself does not change your stock levels. It's just an order with your supplier. When you actually receive your stock from your supplier, you'll need to record how you paid for it. You can enter it as an expense, a check, or a bill, depending on how you're paying for the stock. This is what actually adjusts your stock quantity and handles all the accounting. If you've received and paid for the stock already, then you'll enter a check if you paid by check, or an expense if you've paid by any other method. If you haven't paid yet and your supplier has given you a bill with a due date, then enter a bill. These methods are all very similar. For this example, we'll enter a bill, but there are videos with more details on how to record bills, checks, and expenses at the end of this video. Select your supplier. Since you have an open purchase order with them, you'll see it over here. Select Add to add the details of the purchase order to your bill. If the amount of stock you received or the price you paid for it is different than what was on the purchase order, you can change it here. Once you are done, select a Save option. Now, if you go to Sales and Products and Services, you'll see that QuickBooks updated the stock quantity on hand based on your purchase order and the subsequent bill. One final note about managing stock. If the amount of stock you actually have on hand is not the same as what's in QuickBooks, you can make an adjustment. Find the product, select the arrow next to Edit, then select Adjust Quantity. You'll see the product here and the amount QuickBooks thinks you have on hand here. Enter in the number you actually have here, then select Stock Adjustment Account. 
This tells QuickBooks where the value of the missing stock should go. The default is stock shrinkage, but you can create a more descriptive cost of sales or expense account for things like theft, spoilage, or charitable contributions, if you prefer. This will affect your financial statements, so you should consult your accountant before doing this. Once you are done, select a Save option and you'll see that QuickBooks has adjusted your stock. Now you are ready to start managing your stock with QuickBooks.